Hey guys, Tony Clark here. I'm very excited to share this video with you. I just want to talk about it before I show it to you. There's a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, it was 20, more than 20 years ago up in Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe at the Horizon Casino Resort. I had my show going there, Fantasy, which ended up running for four years. But this was the two year mark when I was celebrating my uh, 1000th show anniversary. Now, I wanted it to be a very spectacular and scary stunt. And I videotaped it for the purpose of trying to get on the uh, world's most dangerous magic on NBC and it actually worked. But I didn't realize that I almost killed myself or died during this thing until about a few days later when the editor called me and said, hey man, this was close. I said, oh no, I know it's close. No, no, come and see this video. And he, I went to the studio and he showed me clip by clip, which I'm gonna show you here too. Uh, and I'm going to talk about why that happened, even though I rehearsed this. I don't recommend anybody doing this video, uh, this, this stunt. Nobody should do this stunt at all. Um, and I'll tell you why, as I'm showing you, even with months and months of preparation, a few small things happened right before the performance that caused me to almost lose my life. And it still gives me nightmares when I see it but it actually affected me for quite a while right after that, uh, seeing that footage from the editor. So um, here we go, Lake Tahoe, 25, well, 22 years ago. Let's roll the tape. So this is gonna be in the parking lot on the side of the Horizon Casino Resort. We had about, I'll say 2,000 people. There were people on all sides. Now this is the chain that I'm getting wrapped around me. Now this is all legitimate stuff because at this point, I was doing a suspended upside down straight jacket in my show. And I did it over a thousand times already. So the straight jacket was no problem. The chains had a uh, work, but the chains were all real. Everything was real. The locks were real. Of course, I practiced getting out of it and I thought I had it all figured out. So now what we did here, I had them uh, put me in and I covered the box, like you see, and they started drilling it. Now, immediately here, I'm already starting to get out, obviously. The second that thing closes up and there's nobody looking down from the, the top of those, uh, the parking lot across the other side, I started getting out. So now I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Now this box going over the top has explosives on the outside. And here's the car that I also built a long way. Now watch this, the car starts coming. At this point, I'm out, but, and it was very close, closer than I expected. And I hit my head on the way out. I'll tell you why in a second. They come, they come to get up. They wanted to make sure the paramedic out there to check it out. I had a little cut on my head, so they didn't know how bad it was. They told me to stay down. Paramedics came, uh, checked out the cut, make sure I was okay. They wanted me to move because I had any neck, neck injuries. So this is pretty exciting and uh, thankfully I didn't need the gurney. They had to give me oxygen. They did the precautionary thing because they knew they just saw this would happen. And there I go and I was, you know, uh, excited to be alive. <laughs> so at this point, as I said, I thought it was close. I didn't realize how close it actually was. People were so scared and some people were crying and nervous. I can't believe that he got out it blew me away. That was the most unbelievable thing I've ever oh, seen. Oh, Luffalonga. So, I'm pumped. Yeah, that's my gosh. Definitely the heart is going. See him jump out of there. Oh, did he get a foot caught in the spike or what? <laughs> Made it out just Yeah, so we're going to show this two feet of roll. This is keep rolling and show us slow mo in a second. It kind of got me scared. The thing to remember is, I built that car. That bumper of the car had a 24 spike on it. So let's stop here and let's go back. Now, Here's what happened. Let's go to the, to the box. Hold on the box right there. This box is a paper box made out of butcher paper. Okay, check it out. Of course, I know exactly when I need to jump out because we rehearsed it that way with the timing of the car coming to me. But here's the problem. That day it was very windy up on the hill there on the mountain. So I told my guys to wrap it with two layers of butcher paper. It looks like not a lot, but two layers instead of one. And then while I'm in the box, ready to jump out, already escaped from the wood box, I'm waiting in that corner, waiting to come out. I just realized, oh shoot, I forgot to perforate the paper with the razor blade 
to create an X so I can blow through the center. So now if we go frame by frame, watch the top of the paper of the box, we'll see this. Look, at, see where I'm blowing, I come off the top edge of the paper rips off, which causes my head to slide up the paper and hit the, the wood bar. And now go another clip, the explosion goes off. And if you look, the car is half already through the box and I'm not even landed on the ground yet. So we'll go another, another frame again. And look at that, I'm still in the air and the car is already blown by me. So just think about it. The, the, the editor went into the studio, he showed me the footage I just saw right there, and he did exactly what we're doing right now. And he counted out, it was a tenth of a second. If I didn't jump out another tenth of a second, it would have clipped my legs or my lower body or even my whole body, depending on where I was positioned. And it would have flung me around and, you know, those spikes on that car, it, we could look at the front again later. And those spikes were like 24 inches long. I had them made out of a, a steel and a, a aluminum with metal steel tips. Like I said, that bumper was more expensive than the, the car itself. So, uh, so go to the front. I'm going to see the car. We're going to rewind it back. These are all the people talking about it. How I got the, the paramedic there was telling about how my head. But watch this bumper. If you go to the front, look at that car right there. That bumper of the car has, I don't know how many spikes there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 spikes that were real spikes on a wooden solid, like a plow. If that one of those spikes caught me, I don't know what I was thinking. And there's another shot that, that doesn't show here, but if we roll that shot, we roll that car coming at the box. Let's see that car coming. There's a piece of the top that flies off and goes straight back. I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but I have a camera shot, which we didn't use. But, but one of the pieces of wood swirled right over the camera guy's head. So not only did I risk my own life, I almost killed somebody with the camera on the other end, because that thing literally just went over his head. It's a big piece of wood, and the, the, the energy of the, 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 the hit propelled that thing to go around. So this was one of the scariest things. And the point that I was so scared about the most was I prepared for this over three, three and a half months, every day, timing, timing, timing. And that butcher paper held me back enough to almost just really have it very catastrophic, catastrophic, uh, and a uh, very bad ending. And it was, uh, you know, I even think about it now going, wow, it could have been a second, split second, tenth of a second, it would have been a totally different outcome. So um, I don't worry about anybody uh, trying this at home, as I mentioned, because even, like I said, even if you practice, it just gets. Uh, scarier and scarier and uh, you never know what's going to happen so I tell a lot of escape artists that way always have a three security system three safety system you know one two three that one uh, I didn't have three from then on if I did an escape um, I had uh, three different ways of safeties but the thing was when I sent this video to Gary Ouellette which was the producer of the, the world's most dangerous magic and the world's greatest magic way back in the 90s. And uh, he saw the video and he called me down. He was all, oh, they love it, come on down. He says, when I got there, he says, the only one difference, and you can see this also on, uh, on YouTube, World's Most Dangerous Magic. He says, they're not gonna allow you to be in the box because they were scared. They were afraid for you. They need to see you actually trying to get out. So we had to come up with this strapping thing with a lock and two chains, and it was a full container of explosives and a car coming at me with no uh, 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 no driver, which was very weird to watch the car come at me. And I couldn't rehearse it with the car. We did it slow motion, but we couldn't ex we rehearse it with the car because it was destroyed the car. So I'm gonna try to see if there's a possibility of me posting that video, uh, maybe a week or so from now, and, and show you clips of that, uh, the world's most dangerous magic too where I uh, did the stunt and that was close too. But it was a little different because I was out in the open, but this one, very scary. I don't recommend anybody trying it. So, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you. It uh, brings back memories of being young and dumb and and <laughs> and risking my life to get on television, which I don't think I'd ever do it again, but uh, I'm glad I survived it. And I just wanted to share with you for the message of, first of all, 
don't ever take anything for granted. Always have your safety checks, have your crew there. I had a great crew, thank God. They were a great crew. And I had all the paramedics and everything there. So be prepared, 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 but don't do anything as crazy as that. So until next time, thanks everybody. Be sure to remember to subscribe, uh, share it, like it. Take care and uh, see you next time.